hello 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 how's everybody doing today hello so uh, we'll start off by uh, going over the uh, the update from yesterday how's it going there sergeant good to see you 
All right, so let's go ahead and look at this update. So I made the video yesterday. Let me just fix my headset real quick. All right, so it's upcoming fishing incremental major update uh, from yesterday, Wednesday, April 3rd. Dear Storm Workers, this week is announcement week where we talk about upcoming changes to storms. More fishing major updates are planned. Many players have given really valuable and detailed feedback. And we have been doing our best to plan out further expansions to fishing. These updates are planned to be released in an incremental fashion. Please do not expect all improvements and ideas to be implemented at once. These major updates will be a bit smaller than in the past, probably more similar to the size of the fishing major update in order to better control quality and give players more of a chance to provide feedback as we go along. So this is something a bunch of, you know, uh, part of the community has been asking for is smaller updates that essentially break the game less. Um, you know, there are going to be times when, like, you know, we've had a couple minor updates recently that have broken certain mechanics that's going to happen people have to kind of chill out and relax and understand that you know in an engineering game where you engineer your own builds uh we all don't engineer the same some people engineer in a just uh keep tinkering till it works fashion some people actually will do the math and everything else to make sure it works some people make their systems resilient some people don't so uh that's going to happen regardless but um you know they were talking about this they're trying to do smaller updates where they break things less, so, um, you know, it's been pretty much all but confirmed since when fishing came out that that was something that they were going to do a deep dive, and I think they're being a little bit more cautious, uh, you know, and uh, so they've been definitely hinting at this, so it's uh, good to see that they're confirming it now. Uh, as well as fishing updates, we have loads of other stuff in the work. That's good to hear uh, that they have a bunch of variety. I think um, as much as this development team gets shit from some people, they do do a pretty good job of trying to round out the communities that they supply stuff for. So, you know, they're not just making the game for one part of the community. They tend to try to do a, a pretty good job of kind of uh, moving around, and they will touch into some of the lesser uh, populous, the lower population parts of the community, which is good. You know, it's uh, they could just stick with what the most popular thing is all the time. Uh, and kind of push out the people who have, you know, the minority um, interests. And they don't do that. They do a pretty good job of reaching out and trying to make the game well-rounded. So I think that's good. Uh, including search and rescue content. I keep, you know, people have been asking for, you know, months and months and months. You know, when are we getting a search and rescue uh, DLC or update? You know, essentially insinuating that there's no search and rescue in the search and rescue game. I... You know, there's plenty of search and rescue. I don't really know what more search and rescue you could do. I could certainly see new and different missions. That's interesting to me. But, like, you know, most of the missions are search and rescue. So I'm kind of curious what, like, new rescue content could be. You know, I would think probably new types of missions. Um, but, you know, I'm curious about that. Uh, new components and more. Always love to see new components. That's an important thing to me. Uh, some players have been asking if the next dlc is fishing well they shouldn't have been uh they the devs have been pretty clear for quite a while now um that there's no dlc this year so they are just um essentially you know even though they say something months and months ago a lot of people don't read these uh weekly updates so then they're like i bet this one's gonna be a dlc like literally on the video on the uh weekly update where they said there will be no dlc for 2024 somebody posted i bet that's gonna be a dlc and it's like, dude, they literally just said there's no DLC this year. So um, anyway, so they said uh, some players have been asking if the next DLC is fishing. We did discuss this in the Q&A and concluded that while there's loads of possibilities for what content we should create, we prefer to release the fishing update as a series of free major updates. Major updates have always been free. Um, some people have been confused about that, too. Rather than DLC, we have no planned DLCs for this year. So this is like the third time we've heard that they have no DLCs planned for this year. So... I think this is in direct response to people in the comments who don't read these. They just go right into bitch. And they never read the, the actual thing that said you know, there's no DLC this plan this year. Personally, I, I think they should do a DLC every year. Um, you know, to put it in perspective, I pay about uh, 15 bucks a month for YouTube Premium just so that I don't have ads and that I can watch it on any of my uh, you know TVs or whatever and not have to watch ads on those. That's 15 bucks a month not to watch ads. And, you know, they're asking for $10 a year for a DLC to keep an entire game alive. I think that's pretty reasonable. I think some people have their hair on fire whenever they have to pay for anything, which is pretty silly. You know, devs do work. Um, you know, they need salaries. You know, biz 
a business needs funds for computers and electricity and office space and all these things, I don't think it's unreasonable to ask ten dollars a year. You know, WoW is I think like fifteen bucks a month. Uh, you know, to keep a WoW to to be able to even play WoW, and uh, you know, it keeps these games alive. It gives them something to do. So personally, I think they should have a DLC this year. They're not going to. They've already said it, but. Um, you know, it helps. Uh, it helps to fund things. You know, you need money to have a business. It's not a charity. You know, uh, we'll release more information soon, including the exact features we have planned as we get close to the release of the next major update. So, they definitely they they try not to build hype, which I agree with. They shouldn't be building hype. Hype is never good. Um, you know, but uh, we have some new fishing stuff on the way, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, you know what uh, they come out with first. You know. The major updates tend to come out on a quarterly basis, index to, you know, if, if uh, they come out in October, you know, the, uh, you know, you talk about, um, you know, the next one came out in January. So we're talking, we've got about uh, somewhere end of April, I would say, uh, I believe, when was the January? January is end of January. So I would say end of April would be the end of the next quarter. So that would make sense to me. That uh, end of the month, we'd be getting the next major update, which it sounds like it's going to be fishing related. Uh, you know, so it's every three months after that. So, you know, talking August and then um, talking October, it sounds like. So not that every one of them is going to be fishing, but it sounds like a pretty good strat from them. How's it going there? 3D Tornado, how are you? All right, so let's get back in the game. So I just, just figured I'd talk a little bit about the update, seeing I did not uh, stream yesterday. Thank you uh, for everybody who's hanging out in um, in uh, Twitch as well. I appreciate that. That helps me out with trying to get that average up. All right. So uh, for those who may have been watching the last couple of days, let's actually switch bases here real quick. I don't want to be down here. Let's go to the um, the train base here. So I did a little bit of uh, aesthetic work on the DE2. Uh, just pretty much paint. Uh, I, sh I dropped the roof a little bit restructured the stairs worked on the um worked on moving around some of the railings but a lot of color work like most of the functionality is working i dropped the roof the roof was too high so i changed the color it looks a little funky in the editor but it looks more uh how it looks in derail valley there with the brown so the roof line dropped i think that's a big improvement i think it was too tall and uh, this this helps shrink it down a little bit, so I like that. It does not feel claustrophobic in here, partly because the roof arches, so I like that. Let's go ahead and move up. Show you in the sunlight here. But really pleased with the systems here. Like, see, I would have I would have forgot to take off the handbrake if I didn't have that light. So that helps me. That helps me in Derail Valley as well when that uh, light comes on. And then if we over amp it, it will shut off the breaker. So that's a cool feature too. I know that will probably annoy a ton of people when it gets released, but um, too bad. You know, you got to learn how to use. It. Ooh, what's this? This paint problems here. I fix those. All right, so let's go look at the new paint job um, in the sun here. So that's more what it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can get some D, some uh, D Real Valley picks up from the wiki. You know, some good pictures on the uh, on the wiki here to kind of go through and look at there. All right, so there we go. We have um, some good pictures over here. So, like, you see it's more of a brown. I redid the striping here on the front. I had way too many stripes, so I, I brought it down to three. Put some of these little red accents on there. Um, I might do this little name badge here. That would be some. So maybe do some accenting today. I My roof overhangs, again, it's inspired by it. It's not a complete 100% replica. So I like my roof hanging over better than being stubby there. Uh, some good interior shots there. This is what it was inspired by. So you can see it's uh, you know interesting there. Okay, the horns are up there. That's interesting to see. See, it has lights down here too. So I might redo some of these lights. Like, I didn't notice there's lights right here, and then there's the red light there. So, yeah, it looks like the the lights are here in the red. So I'm going to move some of those lights. doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I also pushed out the this area here. 
Um, now looking at this picture, I might change up how I have some of that done. But uh, that's kind of my, you know, inspiration for that and, um, you know, work on that color a little bit. I did like the color between the, uh, on the window frames, that changed a little bit. So let me see, I'm trying to look at the, um, see, I might move this, the step up back because it kind of, it starts here, I think. You know, again, it's inspired by it. it doesn't have to be a hundred percent, but you notice I changed the stripes to the stripes. There's only three of that. It get balls up right there. I gotta fix that one there. That's ball. They're all copied, so they're all balls up. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is put the white lights down here, and then that one will be red only. I think that's what I'll do. That's gonna add to the to the micro, but I didn't notice that before. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. But I like it. It's a little bit more squat now. It looks Proportionally better. It was too tall before, so it didn't look a squat. Uh, you can see, like that red accent got added. A little bit of detailing in in the wheel wells there. Doesn't have to be identical exactly how the real one is. This is a little bit annoying how I put that um, the step, but this is gonna make it easier to jump on. So like if if it's rolling a little bit, like kind of gets stuck in there, which is nice for um, when we're when we're actually trying to get on. So here, let's. Let's uh, quickly try to get moving here, and I'll kind of show you. So, like, if you're running along and you're trying to get on there, like, you can just kind of get to get ahead of it a little bit. Um, it's moving fast here. It's moving fast on me. Okay, so now I'm, like, stuck in here so that I'm with it, and then I can jump in. So that makes it a little bit easier to get on and off. You're kind of having, a, like, a nice well to be able to jump in there, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to jump in the back of it, but, um... but yeah. So I think it's coming along nicely. Uh, what I want to do is keep working on these train systems. Uh, you know, they'll get plenty of testing. I did make it so I can walk around the front here. Can't really do that on the real one, but you know, it makes gives it a little bit more utility, I think. So again, my own improvements or changes on it. All right, let's uh, quickly fix a couple. We have a couple paint issues there, so I think it's coming along nicely. Work on the train systems today. How's it going, drowning, drown, the drowning dino? How are you, Sergeant? Good to see you both. Plays appreciate that. Thank you. Um, let's see. All right, so let's fix a couple of these paint things here. So I, because I dropped the roof here, I wanted this one by four to stay, and so I had XML a block in there. Let's see what's. Uh, I think I went this bottom color here, and then I need to see where this... Some of the paint looked wrong here, so I'm trying to fix it. It could just be the light, too. There, that was it right there. Okay, that was where it was uh, screwed up, was right there. This got funkified there. There we go. Fix that. And I thought I noticed... The, yep, see that one just changed color. This one changed color. Okay, good. So there we go. We got those fixed. Notice those, so that's good. You know, I could, uh, I'm not gonna push that in anymore. Like I could shrink it more. I can't really, because like there are some, me there are some mechanisms in here uh, that work for the bumpers. And so I'm not gonna change those. So like I, I recolored the railings. This all got colored and shaded. You know, so that's more of that rusty color. Uh, the window frames, a bunch of stuff in here got kind of re recolored. So I'm, I'm happy with the results now. I think we're pretty good. I, have, I didn't really make any notes on this. So let's go ahead and save this. And I think we're pretty good on that. Let's, uh, let's see what else we need to do here. Let's look at the cars. I don't think I had. I, I need to make a list for this. So I'm going to open up a list. Because I want to. what I would like to do is get this train system kind of going and finished. Um. Nothing's ever finished, you know, but uh, get the train system itself to a place where I can then easily put it on another train. I want to actually go back and play with the tractor trailer system for T-Test Mark II, and that's going to be, that's going to kind of change the air brakes up a little bit. We might work on that now. Change up the air brakes a little bit so that they are more in line with this. This is a much more realistic system. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring it up and show you real quick. So, like, 
you know, the way it works is you would have a reservoir, which is filled by the pump. And then you have a valve that goes into the brake cylinder. This is simulating an air can or a brake piston. And so when you want to brake, it's actually the air going in there. And then it reads the air value to give you brakes. And then once uh, you're done braking, you open the valve to release the air like it would in real life. So you lose air whenever, you know, you apply the brake. It's taking it from the reservoir, put it in the brake can. And then it opens up the valve and it vents it. And so then you have no air in there. So you're you're constantly, every time you're hitting the brakes, losing some air. So that's probably what I'll do with TTIS as well. I think that's a little bit better of a system there. And then uh, it, it results in some cool stuff. For So if, say, for example, let's say we want to release the brakes on a trailer. So I'm trying to, let's make real quick. I like making little utilities and fun stuff. So let's see. Uh, can't be can't be a um, I'm trying to I was gonna make a little compressed air tank doesn't have to be that much air pressure so let's try something here so like there's you can make a little uh, handheld tank to actually uh, release the brakes which is kind of cool Yeah, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this with, um... See, the problem is, like, it seems like you could use an impeller nice and compact, but it isn't because it's not one way. And I'm not going to be able to get the pressure up, so... Uh, but you can use a compressor to release the brakes, so that's something that's kind of cool, uh, to use a compressor to release the brakes. But, um, let's, let's not play with that. How's it going to Alistair? Good to see you. How are you? How are you? All right, how's it going? I said hi to 3D Tornado, I believe. If I did not, hello, 3D Tornado. All right, so I think, let's see, what do we do? Let's go ahead, and what I want to do is grab um, this. So this is the example for the, um, for the train system. Let's bring in the D2. I think we're close enough to where we need to be that I can probably yank some micros back off of the DE2 and put them on the example because like these are the most updated so let's see where are we at here here's TBIS what is let's see why did this this got huge man let's see how what all this is local tank growth standard atmosphere barrel local brake pressure independent brake throttle train brake throttle handbrake I added handbrake on there, forward valve, rear valve. Okay, yeah, these are all going to be necessary. So this is going to be a reasonably big panel for um, the system. I called it TBIS. I'm going to copy that and move it, and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So this is going to be the train part of TBIS. Okay, and then I'm going to move some stuff around on this because now I can move all the nodes and not feel like I'm, uh, I'm not disconnected everything because they're going to get disconnected anyway. So let's see. That is going there. All right, so that's uh, Loco Tebus. Let's do Tebus Loco. All right, Tebus Locomotive. All right, so we'll add all the all the parts here to this. So that's uh, loco reservoir tank pressure, standard atmosphere barometer, loco brake tank pressure. What's that? Independent brake throttle. Independent brake throttle. Train brake throttle. Train brake, handbrake, we'll add handbrake in a second, blowout valve, that's a reservoir to loco, let's see what that is, okay, that's brakes loco right there, okay, and then we have um, rear valve, forward valve, rear valve, forward valve, if I can get to it, should be pump go and then what are these these are train connectors and valve panels okay train connectors so I should put one on the back here too to make it um, yeah 
Let's see. Probably make put these hangers the same way so we know what they look like here. Try to make it as easy for people to understand what where it's going. All right, so we'll route those through there. All right, so, you know, the whole point of this, like, having a stationary here so that somebody can grab it and, uh, you know, it, it's kind of already diagrammed for them where everything's going. So that way it's uh, it's all should be a lot easier when it's diagrammed like this that you know what um, where to attach everything so Let's see. we're gonna be short uh, are we short no perfect fits perfect all right good so that's the most up-to-date one I need to put a hand valve in here so um, let's do helm you know, the loco could probably get one. You don't need something this big, but it can have it, essentially. All right, and then this will be, where are we at here for, this is the handbrake right here. And then let's set this up the way I want it. So uh, uh, sticky 100%. Handbrake, okay. All right, so that's in there. And then I need to add, um, so this is kind of tell me what I need to. I need handbrake on all the cars, so work on that. Because I want to then go through and I'm going to take the definitive car edition after we do enough testing. And then, so this will be all set up so that when people want to use it, they know that, you know, you put this on each car and you put this on the loco and you put all these components. And if you want to actually cut them from here, you can. If not, great as well. All right, good. So that's probably where we're at there. All right, good. So let's go ahead and let's take out the... DE2 here. Trying to get everything here so that we can get this despawned again. You know, it's trying to keep it up to date. It's easier than like accidentally being a step behind. Alright, so that's gone now. Let's save that up. All righty, nice. All right, so that's uh, pretty much up to date. Let's grab, uh, I want to put a hand valve on the cars. So let's get the train test car here. So when I eventually release this, this will be in the pack too. You'll have the cars themselves. So it needs a hand valve. I'm trying to think of how, the best way to do it. I don't think how, how I want to do this here. Because the problem is, like, different cars are going to have different shapes and everything, so I want to make sure I can fit it on there. And they usually, it depends, but some of them are on the side here. So I think we might do a, I don't know, that's going to be tough with the space I have here. Let's see. Nah, two. We got two across. We need to be, we need, need to be too wide. Let's measure this real quick. That's 13 standard, so that's fine. All right, let's go motor. Give me the motor, please, for the third time. Thanks, guy. Let's go symmetry. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I want them to be the same, so. Hmm. Let's look at some uh, parts. It's going to do it kind of like I do the landing gear. Let's actually do a quick test here. And we'll go back and we'll work on the uh, T TIS. Uh, you're a pain in the ass, aren't you? Okay. 
kind of the best way to do this. So torque meters, I'm just trying to see if we get it. I don't think we will, but let's see if we get a negative RPS value on there. RPS, okay. I can't go backwards on these, that's the problem. Yeah, I can't go backwards on this, so. Be nice if we go backwards on this. That's not gonna work. Do a handle. I think a handle is probably the best way to do it. Let's do a handle. Yeah, let's do a handle. All right. Handle sticks out quite a bit because it. Um, we'll see if it's if it's going to be the problem is the height too. That that gets into a problem with the height. As you see, it's going to want to be. Yeah, see, it's gonna it's gonna interfere with the sides. Handles a pain in the ass. That's why I was trying to initially not use that. Let's see. Let's go back to this here. I'm trying to make this not cumbersome. That's the problem. And it ends up getting pretty cumbersome. So I need to check it here. The helm has the same issue on there, so it needs to be something different that rotates. This color's not helpful to look at for you guys. I want to put a hand valve on the uh, cars. Ideally, I'd put the hand valve on both sides. I might just do this hand valve on one side, I think is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Yeah, I think I'll probably just put the hand valve on one side. That's probably gonna be the best thing. Okay, let's just do that. And put the hand valve on one side. Or the hand, uh, yeah, the handbrake. Get rid of symmetry. Uh, you know what? Let's do it both sides, and I will, um, I'll just do it a little bit differently. All right. Trying to, you know, I have to think of all the different types of train cars, and I don't want to make it so that it's so cumbersome or, you know, it has to be so tall or, you know, it's too short. I want to make sure that it works on all different vehicles. So we'll do that. See, you're gonna have to come here anyway, so I'm thinking. I was thinking I'm putting it in the back here. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's 
put it right. Uh, shit, that's going to be a pain right there. Um, do I have space in here? I do. Okay, let's see. See if I have space in here to put it in here. Because we could stick it right here. Maybe. All right, let's just decide to do it on one side. We'll do it right. The middle of the car is fine. We'll just do one because the problem is duplicating them. Then I have to I have to power some stuff. I'm trying not to do that because you know I'm trying not to have to power these things to keep them running. So, all right, there we go. Let's cut that. Okay. Let's see. At least break. Flip which one? None. 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 All right. So this will do that. All right, now I need to uh, figure out how to set this handbrake up. All right. Shit, that adds that adds a node to it too. Damn, it, I gotta look at this panel here. So let's look at the panel here. Revalve. Okay, that's fine. We gotta add two anyway. All right, that's gonna go. Doesn't need to be a motor. We'll do uh, shit. Be torques to be annoying. Um, let me think. The brakes come on automatically too. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I wish we had more handles. I wish we had some more manual parts. I really like the manual additions they did. You know, like I could even put a. I could see. I actually want this to be realistic. Let's see. Try to decide if I need to do. See, the problem is I was gonna add hand valves on here, and then I add a sensor to the to the car. Let's not go that freaking extreme here. I'm trying to think of a way to just uh, get these. See, the brakes automatically come on though. See, that's. Let's do some testing here. And uh, I think we're good. I'm I'm not gonna because I don't want to make it too complicated too. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent simulator, either. Cause like I don't I don't want 200 messages a day of like I can't get the system to work either so you know like having a handbrake in the locos fine I think on the cars it's a little excessive probably all right. all right so let's go back and we'll add the car we'll test it out so like when I when I release from the loco I want the brakes on you know, so they don't roll. And they already do that. So I think to add an extra system is pretty unnecessary. And we'll redo lights on this. All right, so we're attached now. All right, so let's check the brakes. Brakes are at 100%, which is right because we have no air going to them. So we'll grab this. All right, valve. Valve, that should let the air in and now control the brakes. Yep, that's good. And then if we detach it, Valve, valve. Brakes are back on. So, yeah, we don't really need a handbrake on there. I think that's kind of overkill. All right, that's fine. 
But I think that's good. Let's leave that for now. Um, I'll end up grabbing that microcontroller and replacing it. Let's fix the things that I want to fix on here. So let's see. This is going to go there. Because at first I didn't notice those uh, white lights were in a different spot. Okay. We'll get the paint fixed on this. Alright, so that's now uh, just the red light. Okay. Alright, and then the whites. Let me look real quick at the um, actual pictures. So, in the front, they are right at the base, and on the rear, they're about midway. So, in the front, they're right at the base. So right here. Okay, and then on the rear, they're midway, so we'll put them Try not to hit the actual railing, but um, put them right about right here, I think. So we probably have to make the lighting panel a little bit bigger now. But, yeah, I don't. I don't think we actually do. Let me look. And let's get the colors done on these. All right, there we go. All right, let's find all the stuff on this that needs to go. So that is going to be a rear red spot. That is um, forward red spot. That's good. Okay, and then we have. Uh, forward white spot. What are you? Are you rear? You're rear. Okay. Forward white spot. Okay. So these two. Now just control S for you. Would have been nice if they fixed that yesterday. That's the one that people have been complaining about. That's kind of like an easy thing to do. It's like you know, people have been complaining about it. Just take it out, rethink it. You know, if a bunch of people are bitching like, oh, I really like that feature, which you probably have nobody with that, then you can be like, yep, we're working on a solution. A little bit of commu extra community engagement would help with that. You know, doing nothing like that. You know, this is... It's it's an easy save for them to do that sort of stuff. To just be like, yep, we're working on it. We understand it's a problem. Like, some sort of acknowledgement of the problem is always, I think, a good strategy. And they often have a problem doing that. And I think it's kind of silly. Is It's pretty easy for them just to do and reach out. Be like, yep, we understand that's a problem. We're going to work on it. But, you know, it also depends on, too, is, you know, how they how they read their own uh, bug tracker. You know, they, they might have added it to the list, and, again, they don't let things jump to queue. Maybe they don't. I don't know. You know, so also depends on how they run their, run their stuff there. All right, so those lights are fixed. I like that. Um, they're powered. Let's save this. All right, good. So that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Do we do some more detailing work? Let's go ahead. I want to do a couple more detail things. Let's see. I'm looking for something. There's this little weird. I don't know, even know what they're about. It might be reflectors or something. Trying to find something to uh, emulate them in the front. 
just a decorative item. Like the fluid meter could work, something like that. Could try something here. Looks something like that. I don't like the the silver in the middle though. Physics flutter would look right, but that's not gonna work for obvious reasons. Laser beacon. Speaker. Speaker kind of looks kind of like it. Speaker would work. Paintable indicator always works. Let's see. Fluid spawner um, set to nothing could work. I think I'll probably just do a paintable block, paint block on there. All right, let's just do that. I don't even know what this is, is IRL, but um, it's on here. Looks like that. Um, Yeah, there's two of them like that. Um, that looks good there. We'll leave that like that. It's just this red s square thing that pops up. Make sure there's nothing important there. Nope. All right, so there's a little bit of detailing on there. Let's see what else here. Let's do some of the doors on the electrical side here. I can't because of the um, paneling, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I have most of my microcontrollers up against that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Cut there, right? Yeah, okay. Yellow's bright. Um, let's grab this. Oh, come on. Stop doing that. Um, let's go across like that.
try to do the electrical um, diamond here, but see what I can do here. Chunky at the base here. Ugh. Symbol's kind of tough to do here. We don't want to touch in the exterior there, so that's kind of pain in the ass. That's about the best I'm going to be able to do. All right. Alright, it's a little bit there. Let's keep looking at some detail items. Then we'll move on from this. There is um, some, like louvering here, so I think that's gonna have to be done with paint blocks. Let's read some chat here. It's uh, it's for a handbrake. So. Yeah, more more handles would be good. Yeah, I think adding a bunch of decorative things would be kind of a nice thing. Again, uh, they had the same sort of uh, screed from people who don't know what's going on that uh, they said that. You know, oh, more stuff nobody asked for. Like, literally, somebody said that about fishing yesterday. Fishing was one of the most requested features of all time for this game. It's like, you know, again, you know, uh, you know, uninformed people quickly speaking about things they have no clue about. You know, let's, let's quickly grab the Stormworks poll. You know, like, the devs are pretty much going almost item by item unless there's an item that is, like, yeah, like if there's a simple item that can be done in a miner, they do that in a miner. But like looking at the poll, it's nuclear weapons uh, or nuclear reactors, rather, which are in weapons, sales, sales. They said they might come back to natural disasters or in AI ships, planes, helicopters in cooperative building. They said it's probably not possible. Arctic ice break and maybe, but I think might not be possible. Space is in steam is in compressed air is in again. People say, oh, no, nobody wanted a pressure update. Yeah, it's right here, dude. Uh, fishing, which is below the pressure update. You're getting fishing right there. You know, so when people say that nobody wanted this, you know, there was a poll, dude. Um, so, like, right here is decorative components. So, again, this is be this is below it. So, you know, may we get it sometime? Yes, maybe. Maybe not, you know. So, um, you know, I don't know how much of it it's, it's actually, like, a real thing that they're like they don't want to go too much on uh parts you know i i would say that could be something with bullet i don't know you know it could be an engine limitation with how many components you have but i i doubt it i don't know but i don't really don't know anything about it so all right let's see we want to go middle block right there all right let's see how i want to paint this Not really centered, is it, at all?
Okay. Yeah, so like a nice decorative pass would be nice. Give us some of the, like, they already have a bunch of parts in game for like the editor. The add-on editor would be kind of nice to be able to have those for the builds too, like. Yeah, the other thing too is there can be limitations with like how big your character is and how your character has to interact and move with stuff. And so something might sound like a good idea until you realize that your character is going to bump up against stuff all the time and they can't fit in certain areas. So some of those things like, you know, could have unintended consequences. I kind of want to go a little bit dark browner on this. So. Job to drag this in not a messy fashion. I need to drag the doors out and um I don't really need that. All right, let's check that, see how I like that. Yep, that's a good little bit of detail in there. What I might do is this. Let's grab this color here. Okay, we've got that color. Make sure I got it. All right, got it. And then this is going to go like this here. I don't think if I want to leave that, I'll leave that dark like that. Can't do many, much paint blocking in there. I think it's pretty good. I'm getting pretty content with it. I'm looking at like some of the real one, trying to get some more detail in here. Oh shit, in this area here. All right, let's go ahead and save this and we'll move on from here for now. Let's grab the DE2. It's gonna need a lot of testing and everything. How's it going there, Citrus? Hello, hello. Yeah, I think decorative ladders, a bunch of stuff like that that doesn't need hitboxes would be great. Like, for example, like I use for a refrigerator, I'll use the uh, ladder piece as a handle. And so, you know, you have this handle that does not need a huge hitbox, and then it has a hitbox. So, like, something like that would benefit from. You know, being purely decorative. I'm gonna drag down the fuel in here. Let's see what the um, what's my what's my mass on this. Of course, it's light, but I'm trying to like think: Do I put some weight blocks in here or not? I don't know. Doesn't necessarily need it, but. Need isn't always the uh, the defining characteristic. Do I have a vent in here? What is this about? I don't have a an air vent in here. Let me. I need a. No, do I have an air? Yeah, right here, air vent. Okay, I did put an air vent in here. So let's go ahead and let's cut these two, and then put a gas only port on there. Make sure it's. Uh, Liquid valve. Yeah, it's a liquid relief valve. All right. All right, there we go there. That's the gas vent right there. I don't know. I kind of want to weight it up a little bit. 
doesn't necessarily need it, but could wait it up. These, I don't know if these even take up any space when you put these in here. Like, volume-wise. Okay. Alright, a little bit of mass. Let's save it. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually play a little of the career game. I think what I'll do is I want to I wanna play with the train a little bit. We'll go take this out. We'll go do a little bit of career game play. Because I haven't played actual career in a while. Yep. Thank you, Elutan. Elsutan, sorry. Elsentan. Yeah, I'm trying to get that. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, let everyone know again. I'm trying to get my average up on uh, Twitch so I can get affiliate. Currently, I have um, 61 followers, so I appreciate everybody for that. I need 50, and I need to average four. So I'm trying to drag that average up. It's currently like two point, I think four six or something. So I need to like try to get that number up a little bit so that we can hopefully get um, affiliate on that. So I appreciate you guys for doing that. Let's go ahead and save this. Uh, I want to quickly take the new standard and we'll we'll do a container trailer. So let's uh or a container trailer, container car. And I will just use the add-on to spawn the new forklift. If you remember, it's not really a forklift, but I made a a um made a fork truck uh, container mover. Uh, and so I want to test that too. So again, these things kind of need testing in in the game world to to see what the, where they're gonna be at, you know. Let's see the ramp car, rolling stock into modal ramp. Okay. And this can take two containers here. All right. Let's play with this. Let me see what else I have for cars here. Let's convert out the crane car. That'll be quick and easy to do, I think. So let's famous less words always, but let's go ahead and grab. Yeah, let's do that, I think. So I'm gonna, you know, trying to convert everything over to this system. So we'll see how, how hard it is to convert these things. So let's, uh, so this will tell me what modules I need as well, because, you know, I'm gonna need to add modules to a bunch of stuff. So, um, you know, again, I'm going to kind of see what, how long it takes to make a car using all my modules. And that will kind of be the, um, that'll tell me if this is set up correctly where it's, you know, a huge pain in the ass or if it's actually reasonably easy to set up my system. So what we want to do is we want to, uh, let's copy that. Let's go like that. Grab you. Cut you. Okay, and then we'll grab this here. All right, so this is going to be the loco bumpers for the new system for Tebus. The loco, yeah, bumpers is fine. All right, so that's the loco, and then what I want to do is I'm pretty much just going to take off that and that for the... Then the step comes out. So I'm just, I'm just fancying this up for the um, actual... to go into the... What is that about? That can go...
All right, so this has a bunch of stuff. This has all of the brake systems in it. It has the valving. It has the hoses, the hose hangers. It has the couplers. So it has a lot of uh, the systems that this needs in order to, um, you know, be able to make a car. So let's make a car out of this. So let's save this. This will be T-Bis um, car bumpers. Okay, good. So let's start from fresh here and we'll make ourselves a quick container car and kind of see how it goes from taking the modules and making them work. So let's go ahead and this needs to be three off the deck. So what we'll do is measure this three off the deck like that. That goes down to the deck like that and then we'll make some cars here. So all right, good. So that's where it needs to be. I'll leave that there for now, the, the pink. All right, and then, so let's go ahead and measure. So this here is, so we're gonna put a deck plate on top, I would say. So deck plate will go up one further. What's, uh, so that's 11, 12, 13. So it'll be 13 wide. And then, do I need, I don't, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go up and over the wheels, so that needs to go like that, essentially. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop doing the bullshit. There we go, go right here where I want you. I'm pointing where I want you there, guy. All right, this I meant to cut off here. It's being annoying where it's going with the blocks here. There we go, all right. So that's probably the height of it there. Like that. All right, and so let's now I can measure. So we need 29 is how big the container is. So this one's going to be pretty much the size of a container. And so I want to go in the career game. We'll go and we'll uh, go move some containers. That'll be a good test of the loco. We'll also get us a little bit of money in the career game. And this will be a oh, fuck you. Why did you have to go one block too short there, guy? Come on, man. I always do this, man. It's like I think I click on everything and I don't. It is quite frustrating. There we go. All right. Always miss something. There we go. All right. There we go. So I kind of like the idea of having more cars and them being pretty small. So that sh that's twenty nine there. All right, and then let's go ahead. I'm just going to bring up some pictures of uh, rail container cars. Now we'll take a look. There's a bunch of different designs as well, cars, all different stuff. So we'll take a look and we'll figure out what we like here. So I'm doing it. It's a top load car. So like here are well cars. You see they sit in the well. You have a big span on them so that they can get lower for a double stack we're just doing simple single stacks on this that's a well car there it's kind of cool it shows you all the different uh, footprints of them here's a f here's a flat car kind of like this flat car the design of this flat car is kind of cool I like do that on mini scale here's here's another flat car there csx flat car Try to see if they have a small, like, here's another car there. Kind of like this, this bronzy color. I've used that before. I like that. flat cars here so it'd be good to have a flat car in general all right so we'll kind of use this as my basis and we'll kind of go off that let me read some chat here suntan no, it's El Suntan. I see what it is now. I, I try to read them quickly while I'm doing something else. It makes sense. El Suntan, the Suntan. I get you. 
Yeah, it's, it's funny, you know, people give themselves their own names and you don't know if it's a character from a movie or something. Now I see it's El Suntan. <laughs> Um, how am I so lucky that my save file hasn't been disrupted yet? Uh, it's got to be something on your PC that's not saving properly. Yeah, I'm just, I've never had a problem with it. You know, I well exceed the system specs, just never had a problem with it. Um, let's quickly grab, grab a quick print screen of that and then... I get some colors here. Yeah. You know, my drivers are always up to date. My um, Windows is always up to date. I'm running the latest version of Windows. Like, a lot of these things really matter, and a lot of people, like, just... They run old Windows. They don't update. My game, you know, I have good internet. So, for example, like, the game never... Uh, when it doesn't update, I don't miss files. Like, a lot of people get hung up on 90%. That could be a RAM issue. That could be um, that they didn't, you know... Um, we'll see how that looks in game. That looks a little bit too red. That's better. That's more brown. You know, so a lot of these issues are just, like... I think our basic computer stuff, too, is that... Um, you know, people have issues with... They're not uh, diagnosing correctly, frankly. Yeah, but yeah, I've never had any issues with any of that. Like some people act like it's the, or some people, it to them it's like the least reliable thing and it always has problems. And for me, it never has problems, so. But it's all, I also, I don't have problems with any of my games because I well exceed the, um, the specifications and everything else. So, um, you know, I don't have any issues with that usually for anything. All right, let's see. We're going to go, go high and tight here. Go high and tight there, and then in the middle, kind of ramp amp down a little bit. I might do a trellis frame. That seems more interesting to me. Let's get some wheels in here. Uh, I don't need this. This is the um, that's the horn. Uh, let's undo that. Um, just meant to paint this stuff in here. There we go. Yeah, I often see, you know, there's a bunch of people you'll see, they'll put on, uh, what's that? Oh, barometer, okay. Uh, I see a bunch of people, like, they'll go on Steam and they'll say, you know, you know, uh, the game doesn't even load for me. And then, like, my standard reply is always, you know, are your drivers up to date? Is your Windows up to date? You know, do you have enough RAM? Do you meet minimum specs? And then they'll never come back because they one of those things was out they fixed it and then they never come back to be like yep it was my drivers are out of date you know so you never get the actual answer of what it was but um you know usually often it's something like that something simple that it's just stuff's not up to date but All right, let's see let's go with that let's go so what do we have on those? Those are double bogies. I might go single bogies just because this is short. And let's see, I need to keep it uh, low profile. So let's see where this ends up. That's too short. Not that it matters what direction. These are just going to be passively. They're not going to be actually moving anything. Let's make sure that's right. Yep, that's the right height. Is 
what is the red section? Oh, okay, of course the part that I don't want connected is connected, but we can fix that easily. Why are you not? Oh, you're you're what? You're gapped. Okay, it is gapped. All right, that makes sense. Uh, I should be able to cut the top on this then if this is gapped already. Let's cut the top on that. No, I can't with the brake systems. Alright, that's got to go one up for the brake systems. Okay. Talking there. Three banger, three banger. Yeah, kind of my whole philosophy on a lot of these, like, errors people have into is it's like, if you see a ton of other people playing without issue, you know, you kind of have to look internally of, like, what is my PC doing that somebody else's is not doing? It's like, you know, you have people who crash all the time. And it's like, if you're crashing all the time and you got other people who are never crashing, then it's something on your end. And so what is the common denominator between my end and their end that's not working? You'd say, okay, it's a PC issue. You know, and so it could be a number of PC issues. It doesn't, you know, the problem is it's not easy to solve that. But, you know, again, once you, once you realize it's on your end, you know that it's something I have to do. It's not, you know, it's not the game itself. If, like, the entire community is having a problem, then you say, yeah, it's, it's a game issue, you know. But I think really is that the case. It's usually something on one person's PC. Because a lot of people they never they don't do they never update their drivers, and so that's huge. If you're not updating your drivers, you know. So you gotta make sure you do that. Alright, so let's see that in the world what the color looks like. Fuck, it's not merged. Let's see, let's merge these now. All right, those are merged. All right, let's do a little bit more coloring here. Let's see, uh, we'll do this color next. Seventy one, fifty four, and thirty four. All right, and then we'll grab this again. Let's go dark on this. Let's go. way too dark okay Actually, just go yeah, it out.
All right, that looks pretty good so far. How did how did you not get connectors on this side? Did I just never put them in. I must never put them in. Okay. All right, so there's connectors on there. Now let's chop this measuring stick there. Let's see, what do we have? Do we have an, I need to put in the micro for this. Okay. Let's save this. Tbis um, flat car 29. So the length of the deck. Try to come up with naming schemes that it makes it easy to find everything. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is like, uh, you know, you'll get a bunch of people just talk about, you know, they're crashing all the time. And then you ask them, what do you have for add-ons? Oh, I have like these 28 add-ons. And it's like, you know, any one of those could be causing the problem, too. That was like one of my add-ons was causing tons of problems for me. And it's, you know, you're going to got to consider that that's part of the problem. It's one reason why I like to play stock as much as possible is it just, you know, you start injecting a possibility that if, you know, somebody... That's the other thing. Uh, yeah, I see that t a ton of time is people using add-ons and then the add-on doesn't get updated, you know, and then they blame the game for it. It's like you're using a third-party thing. It's, you know, that's the risk you take with it, you know. Let's leave that for now. Like for me, Kerbal was very important to use mods and the, um, you expect every time the game got updated that mods weren't going to be completely up to date and you had to end up dealing with it. All right, where are you at there, guy? Uh, start hooking All right you are train brakes train wheels okay brakes train wheels there okay thanks control s yeah i would have liked to see them fix that yesterday that was something you know just remove it you know you can see it's bugging a bunch of people just remove it and then you know come up with a new solution let's see which way we're going here this is reservoir valve. That is blowout valve. That is brake tank pressure. That is standard atmosphere barometer. Where you at there, barrel? Reservoir tank is right. Do they not have a reservoir tank in here? Should have a reservoir tank in here. Where's the reservoir tank? Let me look. Oh, it's different on the train. That's uh, different. That's why. We're on a plumb this in here. Let's put it right there. Why is that going up? Oh, uh, it's going up to the reservoir tank. All right, that just needs to turn then. There's Control S again. How are you there, guy? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Control S. Nobody likes you. Yeah. 
reservoir tank is now in. Valve, um, which way is rear? This is rear here. That's forward. Now you plumb them together. So that is looks plumbed in there. Let's go ahead and we'll verify everything here. All right, we need composites. So what are you? You are train connectors and valve panels. Train connectors are gonna go. I'm trying to remember how I do this. Um, That should work. All right, save that up. And then I need to check electricity. All right, so electricity comes through the connector here. I don't know if I should do the connector or do the. Uh, well, yeah, it's not going to get a plug in. This this is actually going. That does it goes away. So that goes. All right, definitely goes to the connector. Um, Fix that on my example later. Okay. This comes in, that goes to there. That's plugged in. And I should put a battery in because we end up not being able to, uh, the brakes don't necessarily actuate properly if I don't do that. So let's put a battery in there. Give us a little bit of storage. All right, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, I can't think of anything else we need. We can control the connectors through the, the container itself. I think we're good here. All right, let's go ahead and I'll load up the um, save. Um, but I feel like going out and doing missions. I have been feeling like doing too many rescue missions. Kind of been on a train mood, so doing that now. Trying to get my trucks in order. You know, a bunch of the stuff was done for mining. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll get started on, um, I don't even remember where we were last. Let's go over here. We'll get some containers going. Oh, I got to do one more thing in that flat car, too. Now let's go. So if you ever need to change where the red is, just go like this, do a new, new one, get the new block, paste it, and then 
merge that to what you want to be red, and then you're good. You can also just c cover over it, but I like merging it. It uh, reminds me where it should be. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll assemble this trainer, traino, traino up. Did I save it? I did. I did. Okay, good. And we got a. This one's the one that they like to fall on their ass, so you gotta set them up right. Alright, so let's get this going and we'll hook up some cars and we'll head over to wherever. Handbrake's on. Okay, no longer. Oh, there we go, and I just tripped the breaker. And tripped it again. I don't have the brakes on, do I? Check all my settings here too. Vehicle damage player, aggressive lightning, infinite fuel should be off. That's why infinite fuel was on, so it was spinning up the engine faster. That's why it was doing it right there. See, now it's the engine's a little bit less powerful, so it's not hitting that. That oop, oh, I went way too far. Not hitting the amp amperage uh, as early. Quickly see where we're going here, and then me. I'll make it daytime here. Let's not fuck around too much with the darkness here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see. Just trying to get a general number. Sorry, South. Komodo. Nay. JSI. JSI is not bad, but then we have to go over land pretty far. Spy kicks? I don't think we'll make it to spy kicks in 97 minutes. We'll see. See where we are. Um, and could take a long run. That would be kind of interesting. Soar north would be kind of reasonable. Let's keep an eye on that. Soar north. 87 minutes. Actually, I don't need that on, so we got the mechanisms different. Just trying to, like, cue myself which ones they are. I'm going to leave it on so I can cue myself to where we're going. Try uh, urine. Go to Sora North, I think. Eight minutes. Thanks for all the help there, guy. It's not helpful. 143 is a keeper. That one's worth big money, too. Come on, let's take that. A lot of JSI, but I don't want to have to go across the land. That's The good thing is, like, when, it, when you have to add in a truck anyways, you might as well just take a truck. Let's do the spy cakes as well. All right. What do we get? Four? Let me quickly check here. So I turn them on. One. Two. Three. And then I thought I had a fourth over here somewhere. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Okay. Four is the number.
All right, we're all hooked up there, except for airlines. Let's hook the airlines up. Okay. Why can't I see you there, guy? I have the torch on me as well. Okay. Piss off, torch. Is that the end car? It is. Okay, good. Go hook up to these Johnnies. I like it how you can pretty much get right in the edge of tripping the traction motors, so you gotta be careful when you're loaded up, but like when you're not loaded up, you can just kinda hammer it. Uh, yep, the hose connection is for brakes there, Matt. It's uh, air brakes. Has functioning air brakes. So the brakes are based off the pressure. So it moves the air through a reservoir tank to the... Oh, i got to fix this exhaust there. It's going to be changed color-wise. It uh, pumps up a, res a reservoir tank, and then it um, moves it to a brake uh, tank, simulating a brake can. And then it... Um, it vents it. Let's get under there. Air valve. Be part of the TBIS system here when I get that all done. All right. Oh, I don't have shit. This sucks. Um, give me one second. I'm going to have to make something for a track switcher. I want to do a handheld track switcher. So, get first, let me get some uh, med kit here. Guy's always uh, hurting on health here. Okay. All right, so I need, let me make something, a uh, quick radio here. Hoping that there was some button input on that. There is not. So let's see. So we'll make something real fast here. To uh, I want a, I want a, a carryable radio so we can do that. Let's see. Where the hell's small antenna there? Is all right. Oh Jesus Christ. Let's see. Um, find the track switcher micro, and I want to just quickly try to adapt it. Twelve, okay. Let's see. Twelve. All right, it is channel one. Okay, it's off channel one. I just want to. I was pretty sure it's channel one, but. Definitely wanted to verify it. Um, let's do radio. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, if you can jump in uh, Twitch, I'd appreciate that. I'm trying to get that average up. I only got one viewing now, so makes it tough to get that average up. 
I appreciate it. Let's see. Um, wonder how much battery this sucker uses here. It's going to be big. Piss. Try to decide if I want to just put it in the D2 or not. Uh, it's annoying, man. Handheld's just going to be big. I wanted to do handheld, though. Put in the D2. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass to do it this way. Get those cars moved out. And I'll pull the D2 back in. I'll just put a drag switcher in it. Make it a little hell of a lot easier. It starts to grow the microcontroller. If it starts to grow, it gets big, real fast. We'll pull this out. And I'll pull the D2 back in, and we will. Uh, We'll get that figured out. Yeah, I really like the pressure update. There's a lot of mechanical stuff you can do now, which is cool. Ah, pisser. We're going to run into a problem here with the... Um, uh, it's fine. I can just push it this way, but I don't want to lose the... Uh, no, I, I won't lose the fuel. We're up. We'll be all right. Okay. We'll be all right. It will recover the fuel. I'm not going to close the vehicle completely. All right, let's go like that. All right, so the brakes should be on now. Let's just verify it. Yep. Uh, nope, brakes are not on yet. Currently, we'll see why. Why the brakes not on? Oh my god, I can't see the brakes from here. Fuck it. I don't care. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this back. Reminds me of something else I need to add on this. Let's go away, please. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'll fix it. Did I already add a map icon block? I thought I did on this one. Yeah, I think it does. It. I think it does have one already. All right. Let's go ahead and put a switcher in here real quick. So. I think I'm just pretty much using this as my base color now. No, I've got the black in there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll make this. Track switcher. All right. Okay. Just 
quickly make this. All right, so we're gonna transmit. Uh, get rid of that. Don't need it. Go like that. Okay. Do that. Oh my god. Highlight and grab. Thank you. Could make it simpler, but I'm trying to think about how long it is. Okay, let's run that. And where do I want to put this is the question here. Want it to be its own little button here. I mean there or here probably. Let's stick it right here. Cool idea to have it as a uh, to have it as a uh, handheld, but it's just it's going to take up too much space. It's going to be annoying. This is going to go off of, let's see, 
Ripper's Run and the Master Breaker. Wherever that is here. Let's see. That is Electric Relay. Off the Master Breaker here. It's going to go and cause that to transmit when it turns on. And then frequency will be right in there. Okay, good. And then this here can hide somewhere. Alright, there we go. Let's see, I think everything's good on that. And then this one here, that should be all set for backlight color. All right, let's save that real quick. Hopefully that's good. I don't have to dick with it again. So after 60 seconds, it's gonna auto reset or we can manually reset it. Okay. I didn't color it. God damn it. Come on, man. All right. Hopefully we're going to go now. All right, hand valves, hand brakes are off. <clears throat> they check the lights. They should be fine. Famous less words, I know. But. Check the switcher up here. Hopefully it's good. I don't want to dick with it anymore. All right, there we go. Brakes should be good. All right, and we'll hit the switcher. That did nothing. What the fuck? God damn it! I think you're done, and then you get. And you have to fuck around all day to find out. Um, what's up here? Let me make sure it's not a we're not too close to it here. Or when we're too far from it. up with this now <clears throat> all right let's see uh we are reading one off the panel pulse should bring that up increment one so that should bring that up to one when this reads one it will no that's that's why that's fucked up i i fucked this up right here that's why okay Try to do it quickly and I fucked it up. All right, there we go, like that. And then we want to go threshold of one here, there, and that will work. All right. That's what was wrong. It's, an, it's a Boolean, and I wrote it as a uh, write for channel one. Uh, I do, I believe. I, I plugged it in. Let's see if I remember to plug in the horn. The horn's in there. Yep, horn works. Okay. Hand valve needs to go off. Hand valve's off. All right, let's go. We'll test the track switcher when we get up there.
All right, let's go ahead and click it. Fuck you. All right, this is sucking because I can't just test things because I'm in my... Try to not, like, do all this testing in my actual world, and it's pissing me off. I'm going to go without it right now. I'm already super annoyed by it. I'll work on it later. I'm freezing to death right now, so I'm, like... Hand dexterity has gone, so I'm just going to say screw it for now. Now I'll go walk off all the switches. I'm just so over it right now that I'm not even interested. In See, I fucking lost my air hose, so... That's something I should have tested in the test world where I'm sitting right there with the, um, you know, at the switches and I can easily test them. And I fucking didn't do it. So it's annoying. I'm just over it. I am over it. All right. Let's uh, you up. I pull this back a little bit. All right. I'm not doing gray day in real life and in game too. We're not doing that. Yeah, my other switcher system works fine. It's just like rushing. I'm freezing this, so it's not really helping to get my mind working. I usually try to do it while I'm testing, and I uh, unfortunately I jumped out of the test world already, and so it's kind of annoying. Probably grab a second second loco here. We're going on a little bit of a trip, so I want to be able to get a little speed on. So grab a second loco and I'll hook it up here in a second. I have to think too about if I have multiple locomotives, how is the switcher going to work? So I have to think of that. Because I don't, they're going to interfere with each other if they're reading the wrong stuff, so I'm going to deal with that. I got a hot coffee here in a second and try not to freeze myself to death. We got snow last night, which sucks. Like to be done with snow. going on here traction motor just uh, tripped okay. going on these uh, jaggedy corners it acts like a braking for us because it's not an actual smooth circle you can see them how they're wiggle wobbling so it adds braking force which then causes the traction system to fucking trip because it's like hitting brakes It keeps acting like, you know, it's like you're trying to run it with the brakes on, so it's going to over, you know, overstress the uh, motors. I'm just gonna grab a couple containers for Sora North. I'm not farting around too much. We'll grab new ones from there. I don't wanna commit to going to buy cakes or whatever. That's right, good enough for now. 
Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and get moving on, trying to load these up. Test this out. This hasn't got much testing, so. Exactly, no more snow, I'm just, I'm so over winter and bullshit. Let's see. Check out that blue over there, yeah, it's that blue spam, I think. Quite a bit high. I didn't look at this one, but I think this is one of the ones we need. Oh, I know it's the one we need. I don't know if where it's going though. Function one. Okay. Right, there's one loaded. We have one right behind us. Do we not? Right there. Let's see. I don't know where it's going. It doesn't ma really matter if they're going the right places. If they expire, we'll just drop them off so they can despawn somewhere. I wonder if I can get this high enough with a double stack to load them like that. Can't remember how high this goes with the double stack. It goes pretty high, but it's not that incredibly high. Yeah, that's a little low now. There we go. All right. Go up, go up, 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 up. Let's see, thank you.
I'd get rid of the top connectors. I don't have any on this one except the tops. As long as I keep the tops clear, we should be gold. Spy cakes, that one's sore north. Okay. Get some other ones. I see a couple there, right? Last two here. Uh, okay, I couldn't see it at first because it's white. That's the um, the grab. Your army picture tomorrow. Let's grab that. I like the new new lift here. It's working well. Fast, much faster than the old one. Let's get things moving. Containers used to be a lot heavier, and so it's helpful to have them a more reasonable mass here. Uh, it was a while ago they reduced the weight. Why are we not reversing? No, I didn't put it in reverse, I had it in neutral. That would be why. Right, there we 
we go. We're all hooked up. Let's get this guy back. So this can hold two at a time. It's just, uh, we should have been, I should have been able to grab two at a time if I wanted to, but don't really need to. I'm going to grab a second loco. I might take a real quick look at the uh, controller and see why the hell um, switcher is not working. The two switches are going to interfere with one another at the way I currently have them set up. Let's grab another D2. I won't worry about the switcher right now. I'll take a quick look at it, but I'm not going to fuss with it too much because it's going to be a problem anyway. Let's see, logic. Okay, you got that frequency. You're, turning, you're transmitting when I turn on the main breaker is the electrics relay so that should go to transmit that let me check make sure i didn't plug it in i didn't plug the fucking thing in. okay that's fine that's actually good then that means the other one should work so i didn't plug it in all right, that's all that it was um let's go ahead and save this one I'm getting frustrated to keep having to work on the fucking thing all right good so now it should work hopefully all right Let's go ahead and let's go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, call from the airport. We don't care. Let those people die. We're doing containers, people. Yeah. Right. And we're good to go here. Try not to trip the traction motors here. Get moving. I'll quickly test this switch as we get close here. All right, there we go. Yep, it's working now. All right, that was it. I just fuck, forgot to hook it up. Needs a double tap because of the way it works. And then after 60 seconds, it shuts itself off, so goes back to neutral position once um, after 60 seconds so could do it on uh, on signal strength that way we, yeah, that, I might do that uh, do it on signal strength that if uh, you know if we get far enough away from the switcher it will then uh, do it so we're not cascading all the switches as we go by you know Try to flip the we'll flip the train up there past the oil, um, past the oil area. A quiet day on the stream today. When we get not too many people on. Let's see. All right, so we'll uh, we'll double team these. See if we can get a reasonable. We don't need a ton of speed, but. A reasonable speed would be good. And then let's see, make sure these aren't accidentally switching over. And up nope, they're good. Should be good to join up. And I need to release the brakes on the other uh, loco, and then we should be all joined up for for multi-link. Why is that not red? I didn't color those red, apparently. <coughs> all right, let's go ahead and we'll fix up. We'll hook up the multi-link here and get that all tuned in. Right, multi-link's connected. Doesn't matter really on that. I think we're good to go here. All right. Do a quick save. Four four, huh? All right, there we go. Let's go, go, go. Save. Slowed me down so I couldn't jump on. All 
I'm not going to hammer too hard through this turn because, again, the cause of braking force, and then once the traction motor hits a thousand, it's going to tick it off. So, uh, sounds like I can hear both motors running. Yeah, I can hear both motors running now. Wait till we get around this turn. <coughs> I have a horn. Uh, uh. Nice. Let's get a quick uh, pick of this. Very good, very good. I might go left and then, yeah, I'm gonna go left here and then get the, um, we'll pick up, well, this way we'll back in so we can be uh, forward and uh, that's gonna have to flip us at some point anyway. <coughs> so now I don't have to, I might just, I don't know. I was gonna say I could keep it so that I get rid of the auto, uh, the auto return on there, but it's a minute. That's fine. Might do it a uh, signal strength. We'll see. It's a it's a minute so that all the cars can get by that switch. But you know you uh, it's only set up to be a um, hundred meters each antenna, I believe. So it's like two hundred meter total range. So once we get past that, we're not going to be able to talk to that switch anymore anyway. So get rid of cabin light. I don't need it. That's good, that's on the right side. I can't lean. All right. You know, I don't, I don't wanna over, overdo it there. Just like in D-Rail Valley, you'll, you'll trip the traction motor, you start trying to hammer it too hard there because it's gonna it's gonna spool the motors up to get the all the mass moving you know and then it will settle down so that actually works really well having the um running off the s watts because you know essentially you're using a ton of electricity to get moving that's how it works in storm arcs that's how it works in real life and so it's um using a ton of, of uh energy to get moving but once you're moving you don't use as much so it uh works well as a, a as a tripping thing because the um, the generator is going to have to produce a lot of electricity to maintain it. So don't trip it, don't trip the breaker, don't trip the breaker. But it gives me something to do, like just watch the amp meter as it's getting right on the the edge there. I got to be careful to not trip out the traction motors. Same thing in Derail Valley. You know? So it kind of gives you some more to do, which I like. Yeah, a big part of, like, actually being engaged when you're interacting with a vehicle is having some stuff to do, you know, and that's, I think a lot of people miss that when they, uh, you know, want to automate everything. You know, it's like automatic transmission makes driving a vehicle very boring for me, you know. Running on airplane on autopilot all the time is incredibly boring. You know, actually having to operate things, be careful, make sure, you're, you know, you're actually making the decisions, getting you involved in there makes you an actual operator. Once again, on the straightaway, too, I'm going to go and uh, take a quick coffee break and go get some coffee, help warm me up. But the snow is quite ugly. I haven't seen you before, Matt. Uh, you new to the to the channel? Glad to see you. Yes, uh, I. <laughs> yep, Boeing. Boeing is an absolute shit show right now. You know they. Uh, you know McDonnell Douglas. Uh, John uh, Oliver did a good, um, a good thing on uh, last week tonight on Boeing. 
The, the snow is ugly because it's April. So we got snow last night, and I really want to not have any more snow. You, know, you finally get to that point of the year where you don't want any more snow, and then you get snow, and you're like, oh, I've had enough. Plus, you know, my back, I can't go do, deal, do with any. I can't go take care of it. You know, that's one thing that I think Airbus has a... The good thing with Airbus is because it's, you know, a uh, conglomerate of European uh, countries, you know, you have all the different countries who have different standards, which so you kind of going to the highest standard, and then you have other countries who will be happy to, like, uh, you know, blow the whistle on you for not doing the right thing. <coughs> Because it makes them look bad, you know. When it's when it's like, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's it's a lot of this monopoly stuff is, you know, they keep consolidating everything and it creates monopolies. And it was like, you know, the the main the main aircraft manufacturers now, you know, for most of the world is pretty much Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer. You know, Canada Air to a to a certain extent. Um, you know, but you don't have a lot of aircraft manufacturers for airlines, and so it's really been uh, monopolized. And so, you know, you don't, like, if, if an airline fails, like, the problem is Boeing's too big to fail now, because it's, like, you know, it's one of the major three aircraft manufacturers, and it, um, it's a big part of the U.S. economy, and so it's, you know, it's... It's too big to fail, so they they get away with it. So, like, what they were doing was they had they had uh, FAA inspectors who were employed by Boeing, and this this happened with the corporate jet that I flew, where um, you know they had some of the they it was the same sort of thing as they get paid by the company, fuck, and they're they're uh, they're inspectors for the FAA, but they get paid by the company, so. If they do stuff that pisses off the company, they can get fired, you know, and so um, it causes them not to want to blow the whistle on some of the stuff, you know, which is not good. You need you need people willing to. What the hell's going on? Why are we so slow right now? I don't know why we're going so slow now. Oh, you know what it is? I have to reset the traction motor in this one too. That's the problem, is when I blow up both traction modes, I have to reset this one, too. There we go. Fuck! God damn it. There we go. That reset better on this side. I probably, I probably skunked the first one, but I can go back in the first cab and fix this now, so... Ah! I almost had the jump right. That's one of the reasons I wanted to make it. See, I, I knocked the traction motors offline, but I can go on this side because this one's controlling it. There we go. So both, yeah, if I kick the traction motor, I gotta go, have to go in the other cab and, and signal that cab too, so. You know, it's 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 frustrating, but it makes you have to like pay attention. So you know, something I like as a feature in here. All right, we'll switch tracks here. We'll get going. I'm gonna go quick, quick coffee break while this is rolling because we got a little ways to go before we get to the uh, to the area for the next switchers. Nope, I should just leave on the uh, this break here. All right, let's go ahead and click that. All right, good. Let's go forward here. Nope, I didn't switch the direction here. That would be like an instant traction motor uh, disconnect IRL. 
trying to stop a moving train like that. Don't don't hit the thousand. Don't hit a thousand. There we go. They're like that's the, that's how you do it in derail too. Is you have to you have to oscillate the throttle a little as you get too close to tripping. You'll notice as we speed up. Well, it depends. But as we speed up, the um, we're going to be losing some. I'm trying to also see like how many locos I'm going to need to move this at a reasonable speed. It's probably three again. These are not meant for hauling. These are shunters. You know, so I'm going to make um, some more locos using the system once it's completely ironed out, which we're pretty close to having this ironed out. I'll release the example. What I'll probably do is I'm going to do a bunch of testing. I'll probably start working on another locomotive, and then I'll be able to, um, you know, at that point confidently release it to you guys where I think all, most of the kinks are worked out of it, you know. All right, good. So we're pretty much, we're pretty stable now. I could probably go a little bit faster here. I just need to make sure we don't, you notice that we'll go up and down. That's fine. It just can't trip the traction motors. You know, we're not going as fast as I would like, but we'd probably need another loco to go that fast. And that's, you know, in derail, I could, I could run, you know, about a thousand. What is it? No, what is it? 500 tons on this. You know, and uh, you're not gonna doesn't mean you're gonna run it fast. And so these are shunters. That's their main job is to be a shunter. You know, is to move stuff around the yard, hook the cars together, um, go short distances with that. You know, so I want them to have that limitation where, if you you know want to go long distance, so like we should put these together with the shunters, and then we should go get a loco to go run this off. And you know, it's it's rare and storm are actually gonna get a very long train because like. You know, we didn't get that many containers going towards even the same area. You know, we end up with four that are going to kind of be in the general vicinity of one another. Um, you know, so, like, if we we're going to go up to, like, BBG and we're going to stop at each place and really do, like, an around the world, you know, we definitely want, uh, you know, a different loco. So, trying to decide what I want to build next for a loco. I'm thinking I might even do the, what is it, the D DH6, D or DH6, I can't remember from derail because i haven't played with it yet so i want to play with it first but the um you know to do the dh4 is a thought um i don't know so i would do that hydraulic i'd simulate it hydraulically you know that would probably be it the only thing is that this this system right here is this pretty much the same as what goes on with the with the six i would just slot this right in so that helps me out I can go a little bit faster here. Ooh, don't trip, don't trip, don't. Oof, that's close to tripping. That was right in the money. That's like seven away from tripping. So, like, that's why the throttle lever is, is limited to uh, point 0.2 anyway, is that helps to keep this from, uh, you know, from over-amping. All right, so I'm going to quickly, I'll put, I'm going to quickly go get a coffee, and I'll, I'm not going to put up the coffee sign, but, I'll put up the train, and you guys can watch it for a second, and I'm just going to grab a coffee and use the facilities, and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. All right, perfect. We're coming up on uh, the oil well. We can use this in the future, too, for uh, moving some oil, which would be nice. Certainly not moving as fast as I like, but it's um, it's realistic, you know. We're not gonna be able to, like I do, maybe like 30, I'd say, on a lot of the on the runs and derail. So one more loco would be able to go faster, reliably. Let's see, let's see. That's gonna be a hike and a half. I'll tell you that. That's the southern pass there. Where's the northern one go? Northern one's about the same. Yeah, it's definitely, this is, um, like, sh the Shantin jobs, you know, should be shorter routes, too. And then now uh, we'll get into, uh, I'll get a new loco going, so trying to think of like one thing that would be kind of um you know, is the music even up right now there we go the um you know one thing i was thinking for the if we do the dh4 let's bring that up a bunch of time to talk about stuff just gonna quickly look where the next switch is i gotta make sure i don't miss the switch so there's our uh o there's our oil platform there so I like using the train too. I have a car that um, that I can run a hose from the train to the uh, platform, and then I can fill up. So that's kind of nice to do. I'm just waiting on the switch, and then we'll bring up the DH4. DH4 is really cool. One of the reasons why I was thinking of making a DH4 next is it um, it it's uh, hydraulic, and so. You know, I think we can do some cool things with that where, for example, we run an impeller to pump hydraulic uh, oil and then I run valves and the valves will either run back to the sump, which will just circulate, or it will run it forward or run it in reverse. And that way uh, it will all be hydraulically actuated to run the vehicle. So that would be kind of cool. Can't can't do it realistically. Unfortunately, I can't actually move things hydro the RPS nodes uh, hydraulically. So I don't know. You know that's that's what I that's I could simulate it probably pretty well with electric motors and run it off the hydraulic system. So that that's one thought I had. So I I don't know if I make something like a, a DE6. That's um. Then I can pretty much just take the exact microcontrollers that are in this, except for the panel microcontrollers and do that so yeah it could take a it could take a bunch of cash it depends on what you're like some people like they build everything they make is like 300 grand and i like i don't even know where their money goes this i don't know what this costs but it can't cost this much for this vehicle and then the rolling stock's not that expensive uh you, you know you're gonna need something to be able to lift them up you know so you can do a crane car like i have the crane cars which will handle the um the containers but then you need to have like the crab to do it the crabs really cheap you can you know that's it's kind of a nice challenge to do things on a budget you know kind of like what I pretty much recommend when you're first starting to save anyway is like do some rescues and get right into oil as you know you're gonna start running low on fuel so you need that and then oil just prints money so You know, once we get on once we get on this next straight here I'm gonna I'll up it a little bit we're not gonna get that much speed out of it we're doing 20 kilometers an hour which isn't horrific you know for four containers that's the thing too to consider is like if a truck was doing twice the speed you know it would it would have to do more than twice the speed like three times the speed to only be able to take two containers because we need to make two trips 
Which actually do, need to do a lot more than that. You have to do like five times the speed to be able to do the same with a truck, unless you had, you know, four containers in the truck. It's so likely you're gonna have two. There's the oil. So you can see that now that it has the PID controlled pump, it's probably full, I'd say. So you can see it's not moving, but it would barely move if it was, uh, it was just pumping the amount of oil it needs. So let's check the switch here. Switch is correct? All right, good. My food just went off too, so let's go. I'm gonna go grab that, I'll be right back. See where we're at. Let's see if I can tap it up just a little bit here. Nope, there we go. Shit, tripped it. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. We're right on the top of it anyway. Yeah, there's a nice limitation that with the multi-link system now too, it's you know it gives you an incentive to go put another loco on here. You know, it's um, you have a reason to do you have a reason to do three locos is because it's going to save you time. You know, I don't have a keep active on here. I need to put that on there. Yeah, you know, it depends. Like, if you're on Industrial Frontier, oil can come pretty quick. Um, it's still an investment, but, like, if you're out there, you, like, you don't have to do that many missions to get a good bit of cash, you know, early on. You know, because you just sleep in the bed and another one pops up, so you, you have on-demand money whenever you want it. So you just keep um, getting the missions to come up, and once you've got, like, I don't know, like 45 grand, you can start to make it. So you, you kind of, you, you know, you want to get up to probably like 60 grand, but... You know, the main thing was we did oil to feed the vehicles. Like, we weren't able to really sell for a while. You know, and I was selling with airplanes. I was selling jet fuel. And uh, so it's a good way to get moving on the money, you know. Because you know, a lot of people are running into fuel problems right at that. One thing, too, is when you're a new player, you know, all your stuff is inefficient as hell, too. So that doesn't help. You know, so your builds are all inefficient. Oh, I wonder what this is going to do in the hills. This is good testing, but it's a long way here at the speed. But it's good testing. We need to do the testing here, so. Don't, bitch. It's going to trip again. I hate it when it trips. There we go. Yeah, it pretty much, I'm going to need another loco if I want to go faster than that, so that's fine. We'll just... 
I do like that I can jump from loco to loco too. That's kind of nice. I'll be right back. So it's probably, um, gotta keep an eye on the hills too. As we hit the hills, we could uh, overdo the amp meter, so. Let me see, I'm gonna see what straight line distance is there. We're definitely not going straight line distance here, but let's see. So that would be like an hour. All right, we're not going to run this whole thing. We're going to, I'm going to go back to the test world. So, uh, did some good testing on this. We'll just call that a test. So now kind of know how many containers I can do with how many locos. So I would definitely run that with one more locomotive. I think uh, three would have been better. Yeah, and you probably wouldn't be wanting to run shunters that distance too yeah he'd be running a different loco so that'll give me a good incentive to do that let's work on let's look at uh, Titus mark II. Uh, let's see where did I put it I'm gonna lay it out eventually but um, let's see Trying to see if I have room to make this uh, realistic like I have the other system. Uh, so the way this works is this is not really... Um, trying to side. I might just leave this alone for now. Because I don't want to go too involved on it. Yeah, it's gonna take too long to tune in. Look at some builds, see what uh, needs work at the moment. All right, so it's good to get the switcher in there on that. This was something I wanted to work on here. is this where's the fuel tank for the mini that's mini with fuel i just want the fuel all right here that's the front where's the rear okay can that go there no let's see has to be in the bottom what's on this side nothing on this side nothing on this side okay that's getting the hose That needs to save. When I get back, it's some tutorials, so you know, I might take some stream 
breaks on some of these days and just do uh, some tutorials too because a uh, bunch of people have been asking for some tutorial stuff. Let's see what we have for builds. Yeah, so I think this is coming along well. I think uh, both the systems hopefully get, um, you know, keep working on TTIS Mark II and stuff like that. I think we'll finish up there. I think we'll kind of keep it a little bit short today. Let's see. Let me read some chat. Yeah, once you get once you kind of get the idea for fuel efficient vehicles, like a lot of people just keep throwing cylinders and and RPS at everything because they don't do gearing. Gearing is what keeps you efficient. Like, you know, my some of my most powerful trucks they don't go above eight, you know, and that's because they have a lot of um, you know, they have a lot of uh, yeah, they have a proper gearbox, so they don't need to have a ton of RPS to convert that into power, you know. So that helps a lot, but. Um, all right, yeah, so I think we'll finish up a little bit early today. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you're new and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you guys would like the video, if you did like the video, I'd appreciate that. Uh, and I will see you guys later.